So I'm currently walking through the undergrowth looking for the grave of Dame Anna Neagle. So Dame Florence Marjorie Wilcox DBE, known professionally as Anna Neagle, was an English stage and film actress, singer and dancer. Her motion picture career was guided by her husband, producer, director Herbert Wilcox. So Dame Anna Neagle was a successful box office draw in the British cinema for 20 years and was voted the most popular star in Britain in 1949. Crikey, she's so overgrown. Neagle debuted as a dancer in the Wonder Towels in London in 1917 and her first real lead was as a juvenile with Jack Buchanan in Stand Up and Sing in 1931. Her other leading, uh, early leading roles included Oliver or Olivia in Twelfth Night and Rosalind in As You Like It in 1934, followed by Peter Pan in 1937 and Emma in 1944. Anna appeared in more than 30 films, a majority of them produced by her husband. Her screen appearances include those in Victoria the Great in 1937 and Spring in the Park or Spring in Park Lane in 1948 and Odette in 1950. It was her performance as Queen Victoria in the successful historical pageant Victoria the Great and its sequel 60 Glorious Years which cemented her prestige. These films were popular internationally and led to Hollywood where she starred in Nurse Edith Cavill in 1939 and the musicals Irene and No No Nanette in 1940, Sunny in 1941, all produced by Wilcox for RKO. So music and glamour returned in two films, which she made with Errol Flynn, which were Lilacs in the Spring and King's Rhapsody. Unfortunately, her box office appeal faded in the mid-1950s However, she won several awards as Britain's favourite actress and biggest female box office draw. She was named a Commander of the Order of the British Empire in 1952 and later a Dame of the Order of the British Empire in 1969. And Herbert Wilcox, her husband, is a British or was a British film director and producer of films such as Courtney's, The Courtney's of Curzon Street and Odette and loads and loads and loads of others. And this is the grave of Dame Anna Neagle. Uh, it's really, really difficult to read, but it says in loving memory of Dame Anna Neagle, 1904 to 1986, international star of stage and screen, and of her, and of her husband, Herbert Wilcox, CBE. 1890 to 1977, award-winning film producer and director. This stone was unveiled by Her Royal Highness the Princess Royal in March, on March the 6th, 2014. Let's see if we get a better look. So overgrown in this bit. You can see. At the grave of Dame Anna Neagle. To the road. Let's see graves. Very 
leaning, some are hidden. British graveyards, especially ones that this old, are also very rustic, aren't they? You know, you're very manicured parts of them, like the Garden of Remembrance where we were at earlier. And then you have worn out areas like this that are overgrown and unkempt. But I'm pretty sure the occupants are not bothered and they are all lying at rest. <laughs> 